I'd like to talk a little bit about current reality and what that means. When I started the program again, decided that I needed to get myself healthy and back to where I really wanted to be, one of the things that you need to do is look at your current reality. What's going on in your life right now? And so in my life, I got to the point where I'm very tired. I'm so overweight, it makes me tired. Also by being overweight, I have a low activity level because you don't have any energy which makes my stress higher than usual. None of my clothes fit right. It's to the point of where um, actually even wanting to do this video today, I decided to do it this way because all I had were fat clothes. I didn't want to um, have to show this video in what I'm wearing, which is a really sad thing. So that's part of my current reality. I don't do some things based on how I look and feel right now. I'm not eating healthy, and that too is part of my current reality. So when you decide to make the change, it's really important to understand what your desired outcome is. What is your desired reality? So you know where your current reality is. So you might take a note for a second and write down different things that are affecting you with your health and where your reality is. I mean, it could be it could be so much more than what I've just put here. I'm, um, I'm not even going to go on to the list of things. But... Take a few minutes and think about and write down what your current reality is. And then let's go to your desired reality. What, what is it that you want to achieve? Where do you want to go with your health? So it's very simple for me. One of the things that I want to do is I want a BMI of less than 24. Now I know some people say, oh, BMI charts, which is body mass index, um, don't take into effect your whether you're big boned or little boned, but uh, my partner and good friend, Dr. Anderson, says that uh, between the biggest bone human and the smallest bone human is about five pounds. So it doesn't matter if you're big boned or not. It's a good idea to get healthy. And healthy at a BMI of 24, you're not going to have to worry so much. Uh, another thing that I need to do is I need to get better healthy eating habits again. I need to get back into the habit of eating healthy. And I want a higher activity of exercise daily in my life. I want to be able to do anything, any activity that I want. And I haven't been able to do that for a while because of how my weight is. And in the process of doing this, I decided along the way to also make kind of a dream board. And so what I, what I did to help me to, before I go into all the steps of getting from where I am today to where I want to be, is I put together, I got on the internet, I saved some p images from Google Images, took a couple photo, family photos, and I made this dream board. And so what I have here is you see these two absolutely darling children. They're my grandchildren. Uh, we're lucky enough to have two right now and another one on the way. And I want to be able to enjoy activities with them. Right now I'm taking my Thursdays and having fun with the oldest one. And I want to be able to be able to do anything with them. You can see in here the picture of this great group of fans and fellow health coaches. That was on a wonderful trip to Puerto Rico this um, past year. And I have to be honest with you, it was probably the worst vacation I ever took. I was so overweight and so out of shape, I felt horrible. I looked horrible and I didn't like who I was. But I want to be able to enjoy that. This is part of, of who I am and what I want. This picture right here was taken when I was only 18 years old, and that is the picture that I look at and say, that's who I want to be. This is the person that I can actually look at that picture and I can feel how good I felt at that point in my life. I chose this picture up here of the woman doing yoga on the beach and the lady doing the sit-ups because I truly believe that I can have a toned, healthy-looking body. And then this one right here, and I put on it, Mother of the Groom. I have one son getting married this summer and one son next summer, and I want to feel good and happy and healthy, and I want to be able to wear a beautiful dress that I don't feel like is a fat lady's dress. Then the main picture in here of tennis. I love playing tennis, and I've noticed over the last year it's a lot harder on my knees. It's a lot harder um, in the whole activity because I'm overweight, and to get the weight off and be healthy again will make not only for a better tennis game, but for a lot more fun and hiking and traipsing around the world. Something that I want to do and I want to feel healthy by doing it. 
So in the process of going from our current reality to our desired reality, there's some steps that I've chosen to make in between to make that come true. So these are my steps that I'm taking in order to get there. So the first is I needed to start a healthy eating program, what I call the five in one, the program that I do to help me reach a BMI of 24. I need to make sure that I drink no less than 64 ounces of water a day and to continue that habit. For me, keeping junk food out of the house just makes it so much easier because that's what I tend to go to in times of stress and boredom. And if it's not in the house, it just makes life better. Start to play tennis three times a week. That'll get my activity level higher and lifting weights three times a week will help build my muscle mass so that when I do get to my desired weight, I'll have a good muscle mass and activity level to be able to maintain the weight that I want to keep. And then lastly that I put on here right now is meditate for 10 minutes every morning. And when I started meditating a few weeks ago, first thing in the morning before I get up, my day and my choices are so much better than they were before because I'm taking the time before the day ever starts and I'm envisioning the reality, the desired outcome of what I want and it's helping me make better choices so that I can change my current reality. I hope this was helpful for you. Talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us.